the right people. The president is the most powerful person in this country, and the Constitution provides that. If you, you, You've read many things in terms of what the, the president is able to do. The president is so powerful that he's the one who can decide life and death for any citizen in this country. And so these concerns are being shared. People are getting frustrated and worried about the ramifications of these things going forward, especially into elections. The only single I mean, person who can change that is the president. And your president's actions, you know, inspire or shape the conduct of his team. If you're not having no, it happen, to the camera, if you're not, that, yeah. if you're not happening, seeing it happen, it means that it will be dangerous consequences for all of us. We saw when um, the Inquiranza incident happened, the Chiman incident happened, and in one of those, we have a minister of state or senior officer uh, characterizing that as criminals, people who died in exercise of their franchise, people who died in the process. Nobody even spoke to the issue in terms of how bad, how wrong this was. They described it as, you know, criminals who got killed in the process. And the moment the leader spoke in that sense, everybody else began to speak in that manner, dismissing the legitimacy or the, you know, the rightness of these things. And so the leader has the most, or the most powerful duty to help shape the conduct of his team. If we don't have the president speak to these matters, I'm telling you, we can't continue to speak forever and nothing may happen.